I thank you very much for having us here today. Um, I'm just going to give a small overview of the project that the RM Mobile Bench Number 42 took the lead on. A little bit of background information. In light of the federal decision to transition away from coal generated power, the opportunity to explore our tourism base in the area here became a major focus. And it was done so in order to sustain the community and the region. The transition from coal will have a supreme negative impact to Willow Bunch and the surrounding communities with an estimated loss of over 300 jobs and 30 million in annual payroll. An independent committee based on a group of diverse volunteers, which included elected uh, representatives from the town of Willow Bunch and the RM of Willow Bunch number 42 councils, they had a vision and a desire to develop adjoining land to the Jean Louis Laguerre Regional Park, a park that we are very proud of here in Willow Bunch. Um, they had a vision for a creation of a park expansion, a tourism destination, and other economic opportunities to, to bring to Willow Bunch and the surrounding areas. Our project was a collaborative endeavor uh, developed by an independent committee to start uh, called the Jean Louis Laguerre Cooley Project Planning Committee. Um, they commissioned uh, the development of an infrastructure and development plan provided by BCL Engineering in Saskatoon. And this provided the basis for uh, our project as a whole. So the town and the RM came in, uh, they recognized that group's efforts as an important initiative to meet the collective needs of our region. So together, both municipalities uh, came together to provide support to the overall park expansion project by addressing the first priority, which would be to provide safe and potable water to the current park, which will allow for expansion of the park and other economic opportunities to tie into that critical infrastructure. So the project would provide continuous uninterrupted water supply via pipeline traveling from the town of Bunch water treatment plant to the Jean-Louis de Gary Regional Park. This project will also include a provision for continuous sewage disposal at the town of Willowbunch's community treatment facility via pipeline. So that would be coming from the park to the town. The requirement for potable water was based on an engineering survey completed in that BCL engineering report and discussions with water security agency that indicated that the current facility is of simple construction and requires significant upgrades um, to accommodate future growth in our park. Additionally, all facets and at all small towns and smaller uh, remote communities have this same problem. Um, infrastructure is old and it's expensive to upkeep, to replace. So we knew that the facets of our infrastructure were all patched together at the park, leaking, presenting the opportunity for contamination and severe component failures. So the replacement of the distribution systems will meet the goals of the park and meet the goal for future growth expansion and provide dependable service for the next 20 to 40 years. Um, it's important to note that the RM had applied uh, for federal funding through uh, Western Economic Diversification Canada. That was the former name, it is now Prairies Economic uh, Development Canada. Uh, and they were successful in attaining $950,000 towards that project. And it was very important due to the fact that aging and failing infrastructure poses a considerable threat to a community and its organizations, not only from a health and safety standpoint, but also a financial and economic standpoint. The loss of 300 jobs and millions of dollars in payroll and subsequently tax-based revenue results in the inability to plan for the future and substantiate additional infrastructure expense. So resources involved to date are in kind by both uh, councils. So it is not costing the taxpayers dollars to put this project in. Again, we're very fortunate for the funding that we had received through Prairie's Economic uh, Development Canada. So our project, again, was a collaborative endeavor consisting of the Royal Municipality, the Town Council of Willow Bunch, the Jean-Louis Cooley Project Plan Committee, and essentially the Jean-Louis Laguerre Regional Park. Um, once complete this project. So we're still in the very beginning stages in terms of getting this pipeline put into the ground. 
But once complete, this project will result in expansion of the park, potential for additional features. Uh, you know, so this is just the, the beginning. Uh, so potential for additional features such as development of perhaps cabins. Uh, we talked about interpretive centers, creation of a historical village, safe walking trails to and from the park, uh, which would also uh, contribute to job creation, generate economic opportunities for the, for the park, the tourism industry in and around Willowbunch and the community of Willowbunch. Uh, as I said before, this project is ongoing. Uh, formal evaluation will follow at completion and a review of the expectations and outcomes will also follow. As this project is ongoing, it is a continual learning process. Understanding the fundamentals of uh, design process, tendering, it, it, um, it was a learning process, but it was something that we all seem to embrace and we're very happy with. Being selected as uh, a finalist and this, for this award uh, had a huge impact on the community's um, goals and visualiz visualization of the project. They can now see the bigger picture. They now, it has generated excitement among the community. Uh, it has brought on, as Ryan had said in her, in her presentation, more volunteers, because all small towns have the same, have the same issue. It's sometimes the same volunteer base all around, but bigger projects highlighted such as this, um, through the Municipal Awards Association, this really did help us uh, bring on some extra people. So we're very, very uh, excited and happy about this award. Um, I don't have a whole lot else to say. If there's any questions at all, I'd love to answer them and you can get a hold of me at any time. Thank you. Thank you.